I love how the bluebells are populating the long grasses everywhere. They're so beautiful. And they smell so good. They're all over the place. I've got to go and check on the sheep now. There's Kestrel. And her lambs are by that fallen branch. You can see the one that's still slightly a stargazer in the middle. That one. But Java, no! <laughs> These are her two babies. They're doing okay. That's the lamb that was the second one born. And that's the one that has been really bad with the uh, virus that it got in utero. But they seem to be doing okay now, which is fantastic. Java? Leave it. Java. Uh, disturbing the lambs. He's looking for his milky poo snacks. I know it's disgusting, but that's what the dogs do. They love their milky poos. Hey, you. This cooking apple, such beautiful blossoms. Look at that. Anyway, up into the orchard with the black clouds arriving. I was gonna try and do a bit of woodwork today, salvaging a bed and turning it into something else. And there we are. Yeah. Look at that lamb, fast asleep like a black lump. Java, 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 leave it.
Brindle, no. Java, you're never going to get one. You're never going to get one. <laughs> Guys, leave them be. Inca, enough, 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 enough. Leave them be. Leave them be. So this is um, part of an old bed. And I'm going to be using it to make the top to a table, to a metal underneath part of table, but I have to take this middle bit out for it to fit properly. So I chopped this out. I was just doing this just now. So I'll show you the table that um, I'm gonna be making this with a tabletop. I have to unbolt, these aren't gonna work here. So I have to take these out and, whoops, that dropped on the floor. Dog will pick it up and eat it. But. The, these were the bolts for the bed to hold the bed together. The lats in the middle all broke uh, or were worn away. So this bed was dead. So I'm upcycling the remnants of this bed here. Um, I use these boards here. These are boards that are used to strap fence posts down at the local uh, agricultural co-op. And they throw these out and I collect them and make shelving units and gates and all kinds of things out of these. So these are upcycled as well. But this is um, upcycling um, this uh, bottom bed frame to make a really nice table to help me uh, in the vine house for seeding tomatoes. So that's that. I'll show you what I'm going to do so with it. So here's this really nice metal frame table with these curly cues. Um, that I got for, I think I got this for like 25 euros or something, but it had no top to it. So these are the bedsteads or the parts of the bed. And you see the center bar here. So I chopped this out and it goes, and then I move it there and this one here. And now all I have to do is do the lats across it. And then it's also lightweight and I can disassemble it and put it in the vine house. What I do need to do is um, screw in some blocks on the underside so that it doesn't slide off. So this way, with this, it won't go back or forth, but it can still, oh no, it can't slide off. <gasps> Dang, yeah, that prevents it from sliding off. I knew I was more intelligent than I thought it was. So you just pull it to the edge, push that one to the edge. Now I just put the lats across. Yay, we're getting there, cool. So here you can see, this is the string holding these lats together. This is where the mattress would go on the bed. So there's all these lats. And so the idea would be to potentially these are the lats from where the mattress would sit. See, they're still attached, some of them with the string. And uh, put them across because they're too wide at that. But that's all I have. But if I cut them in half, this is the halfway point. If I give them spacers for water to drain through. But the problem is these, the width of these is uh, not long enough. They won't do it. So I thought about, this is another of my upcycled kind of timbers. These are from, yeah, like I was saying, the local agricultural co-op. And then I was thinking the headboard and the baseboard, I could put them together, but they, they go to here. They only come to here, 63 inches. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do as far as the lats across or the timber across find something that'll work 
for this. But these are great timbers, these. So I want to try and upcycle. So I'm almost there. This part is really good because it makes the table movable, the, the tabletop movable, and makes the table light because this is relatively light. The two together would be heavy, but one could separate it to maneuver it around the place. I want to have it in the uh, fine house for potting on my tomatoes, so that's why the gaps, hence the gaps. Because I'm such a visual person, I had to chop one of these in half to see if I could do the adjustments. So if the table comes all, if these come all the way out to the edge, it won't fit. But if I put them in a little bit, so that the table edge is much closer, these will fit. So I could potentially, if I do my measurements better, because this is at the moment, this is uh, uneven. I didn't do a very good measurement. There's a great example of measure twice, cut once, and I measured once and cut once. <laughs> I fucked up <laughs> on my first one. So, um, so potentially, I mean, I could adjust that and put it in the middle. So potentially, I can do that. Potentially, potentially. There we go. That might work. Mind you, it's really starting to rain. So um, I might have to stop doing this for the moment. Take the timber inside and get it dry again and restart up again. But this would make a really good little potting table in the vine house because it's light and maneuverable and pretty. It's very pretty. It's a pretty table. Isn't that right? Are you a pretty dog? Are you a pretty girl? Yeah, you're a pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, you're so happy. Oh, and you're too. You're pretty too. Everybody's pretty. Yeah. Okay, I've got to stop because it's raining and it's getting manky. And I'm going to bring this timber inside so it doesn't get too wet.